Hi everyone, it's Karen. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Um, this is like my fourth try at um, making this video. So um, I'm gonna get right to it because I gotta get there before the game starts. All right, we are making this adorable milk carton candy, ooh, candy holder. Um, adorable. I saw this um, on Sally's stamp. I think it's Sally Stampers. Um, she saw it from um, Poodles, which is, her name is Sam, but if you put in Poodles, she'll come up because she can make a box for anything and everything. She just is an amazing boxer person. So, and I don't think I've ever even seen her make a card. Huh, it's different. But anyway, um, I'm going to put you down because kickoff is in like 15 minutes and you know, the Patriots are going to win. I hate saying that because then I don't want to be wrong. But um, anyway, to make this box, you need cardstock that is 9 by 4 and a piece of design series paper that is 9 and a quarter by 3 and 3 quarters. And these papers came from All My Love Designer Series Paper. It is beautiful paper. Um, in fact, I need to order some more. And, um, all right, let's get started. Glasses on so I can see. So the mistake that I've made the past three or four times is not making sure that my skinny side was on the right um, when I started scoring. So I wish this were live and you could yell at me to remind me, but okay. So we are going to, I just need this for a couple of, um, a couple of uh, numbers because they're in sixteenths. Okay, so bottom box, nine by four. On the short side, we are going for two inches. Whoops, ran over the rail. And on the long side, we are doing two, four, six and eight and that is it for this one so we are going to fold and burnish oh, everything yes yeah, so the Patriots are in the Super Bowl and um, my daughter and her boyfriend um, have been watching every Sunday game up until the Super Bowl here and we have a nice dinner and drinks and so come to find out um, that yesterday or the day before I found out that they are not even going to be here for the Super Bowl and I said well what do you mean where are you going and they said they were going to her friend's house and I said all right I get it her friend just got married and has a house and and then she says oh no we're going to her parents house and I'm like, what? Like, I am a cool parent. And um, we were good enough up until the Super Bowl, and now all of a sudden, we're not good enough. Yeah, so I'm not very happy. All right, so we are folding and burnishing, and now we will be cutting. So we are going to cut um, this way. No, this is on the side. Um, with the little thingy on the right-hand side, and we're going to and also wedge that piece off on the end. And then we are cutting straight up on the rest of the score lines. And we are ready to glue. So we are going to put the glue on this side. And then we have it folded in half. We're going to match that up. And just give that a second to get some tackiness going. And then we're going to stick it to the back. So right where we connected is here. So that's in the back. All right. So we are going to put our first one down. And we're going to glue them up. And then we're folding that side in. And then this side in. And then this last side in. Just make sure everything's matched up. 
and then just give it a push and put it aside and just stick something, you know, heavy into it to hold it down. All right, so we got this and we are not gonna cut on this. Oh wait, did I already do this? Did we do this? I don't think we did. So we're gonna just go through the motions. I must have done it ahead of time. Or this might be the one that I messed up on. This is the one I messed up on. So where's my paper? Well, this is not good. All right. Maybe I'm rushing a little bit too much. Let's relax. What color did I just do? Oh, you know what? Luckily, I've done this so many times that I have a bottom that will match this pink. Let's stick that in there. So we need to cut this because... do that. So we need this at, um, the bottom box was 9 by 4 the um, designer series paper we needed at 9 and a quarter, and nine and a quarter and three at, and three quarters. There we go. Maybe we should just score it. Oh, let's do this. Okay, and you got to be mindful also of your pattern and which way it goes. So we've got to try and keep it to the top. All right, on the short side, we are going to score at uh, one and a half and three and one quarter. Okay, now this, you want to make sure that your skinny piece, that little thin one, which was is going to be this top part of the box, like remember your milk carton days at school, make sure that's at the top. And we are going to score at, on the long side, two, four, and then we got to go to our trimmer because we're going to do some sixteenths. So we did two, four, and then we need to do six and one sixteenth. And that one sixteenth is that little tiny little tick mark after the six. And then we're gonna do eight and one sixteenth. And again, it's that little short little thing um, right after the eight. And let's score that. All right. So, we are going to fold and burnish. If I knew what I did, oh, see, there it is. I have so many projects, like I'm dying to make, and um, my husband at work the other day, it's not funny, he, he fell running, it was pouring all day, one of those really pouring, pouring days when uh, it just did not let up at all. So he was running through the parking lot at work and thought he was stepping on a puddle and actually stepped into a pothole and broke his foot. And the thing is, is that he's not like, you know, you hear people talk about husbands and men and how they whine when they're sick and all that. And he's just not like that. And um, he, for, he didn't tell me right away. And then when he did tell me, he told me two days after he did it. So we made him go to the doctors and uh, he had an x-ray and his foot is broken. So he's out of work for a couple of weeks and um, yeah, I can't get away with anything. I'm trying to scrapbook all day, it's not working out. Okay, so for the top, what we are going to do is, oh wait, I think I have to, oh gosh, look at, I'm rushing ahead of myself. All right, let's just slow down. Take it slow. All right, with your skinny line at the top and the small um, pieces that do not, aren't full rectangles, we are going to take our ruler 
and skip this little guy, the first full square, we're gonna make like a little dot at one end, because it's a two inch square, so. And then we're gonna skip the next squares, and then on the third, the third square, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna write on that little line at the top. You don't wanna go over that score line, so basically just right below it and just kind of dent it. And then make sure you have some cushion underneath you because we're going to score um, and we're going to go from that little mark that we just made to the corner of that square. And we're just going to score it. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Right there and right there. Hold this, see if you can see that better. Or maybe so I can see it better. Okay, so here we are with that little mark we made and going right to that corner. And don't push too hard because it is thin paper. Okay, and the same thing, we're gonna go from here to here. Okay. So there's no cutting involved here. We're just kind of going to just nudge this little triangle. Oh, I didn't do that side. I've been nudging for a long time. Yeah, so apparently they're going to her parents' house because um, they have a big TV. Well, we got a lot of TVs. We can put them all together. So I said, fine, whatever. I'm trying not to trying to be a big girl about it, but I don't want to be a big girl. So I'm just going to cut off. I can't remember if I'm supposed to. I'm going to wait and we're going to wrap it around the box and see if we should cut that. All right. So I've got my line in the back. So I want my little score guy in the back. And we're kind of doing this. So I don't think I need to cut it off. Probably don't need to keep it, but all right. So we're putting it on here so that we can, you know, judge how tight we want it because you don't want it to slip down. But when you put the candy in it, it's going to stay whatever way you want anyway. So, okay. So take this off. I am going to put some glue on here, and I'm sure I'll find out why. I probably should have cut that off when something doesn't go right. But yeah, so I have been making stuff. Um, I'm trying to combine my love of uh, Stampin' Up, which by the, am, by the way, I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, if you um, would like to purchase anything that you see that I've used to make this project, my online store is scrapbystrap.stampinup.net and it's Karen Driscoll. Okay, so we're gonna push that down a little bit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to glue this stuff all together because it has, you know, you can pull it off we can seal the top totally because we don't need to go in there. So we are going to, I think I'm going to use tearing tape. I knew what I did with it. Um, I forget what I was talking about. I'm sure it was nothing important. I just like to talk. All right, so I'm going to stick this on the inside. We just want to really just make sure we can stick that all together. Also, right up to the very top. And if you don't have tear and tape, that's perfectly fine. You can put, use the liquid glue, you can use um, really anything. I don't think there's a rule that says what you're gonna use and what would be good and what wouldn't. And then I'm gonna put another one on the inside. But yeah, so he's out of work and He's really good, I shouldn't say that. But he is one of those guys that is not a baby and 
you have to force him to take the day off, and you have to force him to stay off his foot, which he doesn't do. He's supposed to wear a boot, but he doesn't. And I said, well, if you mess that up, I'm not going to be happy if you're going to stay home every day with me. Because, <laughs> oh, All right, so we're going to squeeze up. Oh, sorry, I got one I didn't do. But I have been working, now I know where I was, on um, Stampin' Up, which I love, and Crafter's Companion, which there's a lot of Crafter's Companion that I love. There's also a lot of really frou-frou stuff that I don't love. But, oh, that's not right. It's kind of crooked. But, um, so I've kind of been combining my um, Paper Pumpkin and my Crafter's Companion subscription box and I'm having a ball doing it um and um let me get some candy to throw in this baby so um I'm going to show you a couple of things I'm working on and and I've got to get out there and make these videos oops well you never can have too much chocolate and this is dove chocolate which I love and I'm going to make these for my kids and my husband. I do make them something different every year and put candy into it. I also make myself one because why should I be penalized that I've got all the talent? So, there we go. So, I have extras here. So now all that's left is decorations. Okay, so this is, um, what paper is this? Um, I'm looking for a ribbon. This is, what is this paper? I know you're probably all yelling. I'm going to look. It is Flirty Flamingo, which I don't have. I don't think anybody has paper that matches Flirty Flamingo. So I just brought a couple of ribbons out. I think this might work. And it's got little X's on it which I like kisses, you know, the XOXO. XO. Oh, I do like that, that's cute. Okay, so, what should we do? Oh, this is another thing. I got one of my little um, dies out to make, to cut a heart. And um, I was doing something and I heard it cling and hit the floor. And I've looked everywhere, and I cannot find it. So it's among the missing. I checked my lost and found. It's not there. My lost and found is where I look for things that um, have either stuck to someone's shoe or the dog. And um, my kids will stick it on my table on my lost and found. It also is where I put... Um, pieces that I've taken out of some stamp set, and I don't know where it goes yet. So this is my lost and found. And as you can see, I've got three stamps that I don't know where they belong, and one, two, three, four, five, six butterflies, and two little fern-looking things. So if you know where any of those go, let me know. All right, let's see, what kind of... I don't know what color. Oh, maybe I'll do lovely lipstick little... Let's see. Yeah, that'll be cute. Or should I do Flirty Flamingo and make it I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it match. Because it's too cute to not. Ooh, perfect. So this is my We Are Memory Keepers. Um, it die cuts and it embosses. And... I have my Big Shot that I love, but to just have to drag that out for one little heart, it's, I don't think I used the right mat. Um, it's just kind of crazy. So I got this. I, I do have also the um, Anna Griffin one, and I like that one also. I actually have two of those because I didn't know I had one until I started cleaning, and then I found it. Um, so I'm either going to sell them both, or just sell one, or give one away, 
because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And when I do, I have a couple of Tim Holtz platform um, little, is that what he calls it, a platform thing? Um, and I think I'm going to put white there too. Um, the plat stampin' thing, before I um, bought my, I call it a stampopotamus, but it's the, um, the Stampin' Ups. Um, I don't even know what the real name is because I call it Stamparatus. Anyway, um, so I am going to give away two of those when I get to 1,000 subscribers. So, if you're not subscribed, I would subscribe because I have a lot of good prizes coming. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap this around the belly here. And I'm going to use some tear and tape. And, um, yeah, so I am going to be giving away a lot, a lot and a lot. I've got so many dies and stamp sets that I can't possibly ever use. So that's it. We are going to give away the farm. Um, also, because I'm trying to get um, so that I could make a contribution to my household. And I think by working... Um, hard on YouTube and getting paid um, which you have to have a certain number of subscribers and then you have to have um, a certain um, uh, number of not likes but viewing hours there's all different kinds of special numbers you have to do before um, you can like get paid and I don't want to make millions I just would like to help pay for my <laughs> my habit of scrapbooking so um yeah so if you would like to join in on the fun we are going to have giving stuff away just uh sign up subscribe hit your bell and you'll know what's going on when it happens all right so i think i'm going to also i have to, yeah I'll put this over the top off. I have such bow phobia when I'm um, tying. I can tie pretty, pretty nice bows, but not when I'm videoing. I think it's a pressure that no one puts on you except yourself. Like we just put it on our own self. And that uh, stresses us out when no one else is stressed but us. I'll sit and watch while someone tries to tie a bow a number of times. I don't mind. But, yeah, not this is going to work. So, I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape on. And, now i got a knot. Oh my gosh. All right, where is my chair and tape? Let's put a little bit of that on. That's going to help. Okay. See, look at that. Oops. Oh my gosh, see here comes the stress. <laughs> All right, this is my last try before it becomes a knot or not even on there. I mean, God, I've taught children, all kinds of children how to tie shoes. Nieces and nephews and my own children. And yeah, this is hideous here. It's a good thing there's chocolate in it, and I know my kid's just going to rip it off anyway. <gasps> that looks awful. I will fix that when no one is watching. All right, here's my little heart. I'm going to stick him down there. So 
So I hope all you guys are watching the Super Bowl because we watch it even when the Patriots aren't in it, which, you know, isn't too often. <gasps> I didn't mean that. That's awful. That wasn't nice at all. Okay. Oh. oh, look, it's almost a bow. There we go. Okay. So that is our milk carton full of chocolates with the lift off top. So I hope you guys like that, and I hope it wasn't too rushed. If it was, I'll make another one and redo it. I just um, felt like I hadn't got a videos out because I had been sick and whatnot. So here it is one way, and here with the other. So they're both really cute. And um, yeah, please check out those, um, the ladies that kind of did all the work on those. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of cards that I have been making, but oh, I don't know where they are. Up here, some. Okay, so I think I've already shown um, this in a previous, and that is um, stamp, uh, Crafter's Companion paper, uh, uh, Stampin' Up paper, Stampin' Up ribbons, and the butterflies are um, Crafter's Companion. Um, I made this one, which Crafter's Companion gives you all kinds of um, card shapes and whatnot. Um, so these are easel cards. And this is uh, Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up, Crafter's Companion, and the card base. And then these little cute ones that came in this kit. And, you know, because this kit was all about embossing. And, um, and this one's not done yet. But the embossing, um, embossing, um, what is it? A folder. <laughs> that um, was in the kit this time was this. This is um, Crafter's Companion, and it's beautiful. And I just said, I think tone on tone, that's like all it needs. Well, it needs, you know, a title and, and whatnot. And then this is Crafter's Companion paper, and again, the embossing folder, and um, Stampin' Up! paper. So this one's not done yet. But like I said, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff we're working on. And um, I gotta go because of the game. But, um, so, let me just say goodbye to oh, <laughs> properly. Okay, well, sorry about that. You guys have a great night. And um, please root for the, you don't have to, but I'm gonna be rooting for the Patriots. Have a great night. Bye-bye.